In the last lecture, we narrowed down your keyword list using search volume and cost per click data as a guide. In this lecture, we're actually going to finalize the keyword research process. We're going to choose your target keywords. These are the keywords that will then be the centerpiece for your content that we start making in the next section. So this is important. We need to look at the competition. Who is already ranking on the first page of Google for that term and how strong are they? So what I want to do is start really just with a visual check, keep it very simple. So what you can do is take some of the keywords that you like, just start typing them into Google and really you want to see how strong the competition is. So one thing that you can do is start to look at their domain names. Or do you recognize these guys? I can see here that a lot of these guys are well established big companies. Um, but that's normal, I think, for SEO. It's a very competitive space. And I, I really knew that going into this. There's professionals doing this uh, day in and day out. So no surprise for me that there's a lot of competition here. Now, one of the things you might want to look for is actually click into these search results and see how high quality the posts are. Is there anything that you could really improve here? Could you make this five times, 10 times better? Or have they covered uh, er, pretty much everything? And that's a quick assessment that you can do, just really looking at how strong the competitors are, plus uh, the content as well. If you see here a lot of content that isn't really relevant, you can see all the way down the page, there's SEO basics. It seems to be very relevant stuff. Then you can see, okay, this keyword, there's a bit of an opportunity here. So cycle through a lot of your keywords and maybe you can identify which ones have less competition just on a visual check than others. Now, as well as that, what you can do is actually download a Mozbar Chrome extension. This is just going to give us more information on our competitors and help us decide how strong those competitors are. So once you've got that downloaded, it's very easy to install you'll see it pop up in your Chrome browser here. And what I can maybe do is uh, look at another keyword here. I can just toggle this on. And now you can see it brings up a, a host of information that I can see for free. And in particular, the information you're going to see is here is page authority and domain authority. Now you might remember that way back at the start of the course in the overview of SEO, I showed you that there's really two key factors to getting to the top of the search results. One is relevance and the other is authority and that Google measures that authority really by the number of links that you have pointing to the page. So page authority really represents that number of links. And I can see that uh, a lot of the pages here on the first page of Google are quite strong. So anything that's like 15, 20, those pages I think are easily going to be uh, easy to beat. However, I can see that quite a lot of these are quite competitive. Now, as well as that, as well as the page authority, another thing you might want to look at is domain authority. So domain authority is really just an aggregate of all of the pages on their website. How strong really are those? Essentially, the lower these numbers are, the less uh, competitive this keyword is going to be. So you can cycle through uh, a couple of keywords, really looking at visually and then using this information to help you find where that white space is, where there's less competitive terms. Now, as well as that, I think keep in mind that um, you want to think about what's going to be valuable to your audience. So I'm going to actually pick the keyword SEO checklist, even though it's very competitive. Um, I know I'm not going to be able to rank for that quickly. I've got a brand new site that is HAPS. It has zero domain authority. It's going to take a long time for me to get to the top of the search results. But I think that as you can see, this is a keyword that is going to be beneficial for you in this course. And I have looked through some of the keyword or the checklists here. I think a lot of them don't explain why you need to do these steps. And that's a value add that I can add in. The final point that I want to make is, look, think about is what is going to be valuable to your audience. It can be easy to get caught up in all of this data and information and uh, hard to see where the opportunities are. But just think about what is going to be valuable to your audience. Don't think about ranking like in the next week or two. It could take you a long time to get there. And so 
I'm picking this topic because it's valuable. There's good search volume. I can see also that a lot of people have linked to these different results. So I know there's a lot of interest and there's also great potential for me to get links for this particular topic. It's valuable immediately to people in this course. Uh, I can link to it from you know, other places like QR, et cetera, and send traffic through to it. So that is it. That is the keyword research process. We've covered a huge amount, I think, in a short space of time. And now that you have your chosen keyword, the next thing that we want to do is actually teach you the process about how to create content around that keyword. We're really going to be taking off relevancy. How do you make a piece of content that's very relevant to the keyword that Google can understand? OK, this page is about that keyword. And that's going to give you a big boost in terms of ranking uh, for that particular keyword. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Take time to visually check and use the Moz bar about your keyword competition. And then we're moving on to the next step to really uh, 